Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio from AEC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how does an air handler work when it doesn't have a control board from the factory? So basically, there's just a bunch of wires and a transformer, and that's the control. So I want to explain to you how this works. So I first just want to identify what's going on here, and we have our low voltage wiring right here. And on this unit, this white wire right here is heat. This brown wire right here is your common on your transformer. Right here is your for your fan, which is gray in this instance. And this right here is your 24 volt hot. So this is your low voltage wiring right here. Back here you have your 240 volt transformer. It's actually 240 volt here, or it could be 208 as well. So it just depends on how you're wiring this and your input um, power into the transformer. And then right here is your 24 volt side. So this is your secondary side of the transformer and you can see that the common of the transformer goes directly to the ground. So over here is your two input power wires which are both 120 volts. So 120 volt leg here, 120 volt leg here, and then you have your ground attached over here. So that's what's going on now. The wires that are heading down here they go to a multi-speed ECM motor and that's really the secret of how this is going to work because this this section right here that's going to be on the uh, on the control module of the blower motor and I'm going to show you that in just a just a minute here but what you have is you have your your common for your 24 volts there you have your two of the 120 volt power legs feeding into the blower motor and then you have your your ground wire right here so that's going to be live all the time anytime that the air handler has power now these are your 24 volt speed designators for the blower motor so let me just show you the the blower motor so this is an ecm blower motor and this happens to be an x13 and you see right here that you have your common your line your neutral and your your ground so one of these motors could be powered with 120 volts or 240 volts. So if it was 120 uh, on a furnace, you know, it would be 120 volt hot here and then the neutral common over here. In this case, it's 240 volts, so you have a hot and a hot. That's it. Now down here are your 24 volt speed designations. And what you're doing is you have this mo module right here, this motor module. And so this plug right here, so you're going to see that this, this goes right into the side. Let's see here. I'll go this way. And you can see how it's going to be wired in. So this is your common for your 24 volts. And then down here, depending on what speed you're going to put it on, whether you go 2 and 4, you're going to have to check with the manufacturer which speed provides the correct amount of CFM for the air handler. So some of these may not be programmed from the manufacturer to run at a specified cubic feet per minute of airflow. So now that I went over what this is, this is an ECM multi-speed motor and it uses 24 volt inputs to designate the, the cubic feet per minute of airflow volume that the blower motor is supposed to push through the duct system. You may have a different multi-speed motor such as this one right here but it's the same principle. So you're gonna have your plug, which is gonna be your, your hot wires in all the time. And then over here are your speed designations. And this one happens to be a motor module from a broad ocean ECM multi-speed motor. Now I've done other videos by going over the control board that the air handler is using. And the whole principle of having a, a control board in an air handler is to control the blower motor. But what, what this is right here, this black box here, this black box there, that's a, that's a relay with normally open and normally closed contacts. And these are gonna be used on a PSC blower motor. So that's a permanent split capacitor blower motor. And basically you're able to stop the, the, the high voltage power that's going into the motor in order to turn it on. So it's, it, these types of control boards are not meant to control a multi-speed ECM motor. And they're not used, also they're not used to control a variable speed ECM motor. So these are specifically only used for a, a PSC or shaded pole blower motor. So there's no use for them. These are only to create a blower on delay and a blower off delay and they use the relay, that's it. So 
So we don't need them here. Now I want to deal with this jumbled mess of wires so that you understand what's going on. And right here, we're going to disconnect this just to make it a little simpler. And these are your two power wires. And you may be asking, why is there such a large cube right here? And I'll show you what you could have plugged in here, but you can have your electric strip heater mounted right here, and you're gonna have extra wires and controls that, that mount right to here. So let me just show you a quick photo of that. And in this case, you're gonna mount your power wires on these two lugs here. Now that we dealt with that, everything is pretty uh, basic as far as the wiring, and I'll, I'll show you what this mess really is. But first, let's, let's just go over what this is. This is a resistor. And let me show you another one of these sets of wires where I have the, the plastic cut open, so you can see that. So this is the exact same set of wires, except that this does not have the plug. It just uses spade terminals instead. There's your, there's your, your plug terminal, there's your transformer, and then here's your thermostat wires. So here you see the resistor, and the resistor is connected between the G fan wire and the common. So, so you know, also this blue wire right here, that's going to the blower motor. It's, it's designating a certain speed. Uh, on the on the blower motor. So what's actually happening here is this resistor is a uh, 1500 ohm resistor and it's only really used to help charge the capacitor of a power stealing thermostat which is one of the the newer type of thermostats like a Lyric uh, or something like that where maybe it doesn't have access to the common in order to power the the thermostat. This is a, just a pathway to help charge the capacitor inside of those newer power stealing thermostats. So it's not needed if you have a standard thermostat whatsoever. The air handler will operate even if this resistor is cut out. Uh, so, so that's what I want you to know about that. Now let's deal with the jumbled mess of wires. You have your two 120 volt power legs right here and here. So that's 240 volts together. And those connect right here to the transformer. So the power is off obviously right now. That's why I'm able to touch things, but right here is your other your other power wire. So that's what's feeding the transformer with 240 volts. And so on the other side over here, you have your, your 24 volts as your secondary on the transformer. Your common is attached to ground, and what's happening here is you see this 24 volt hot comes over through a fuse. So if this fuse is broken, it's not gonna allow any power to the thermostat but you just follow this red wire and it comes over to your thermostat wire connections. So right here, you have your, your hot to your thermostat. This right here is your G. So this is R, your red power wire, 24 volts. This is your G fan and wire right here. And then this is your white W and that's for heat, for your electric resistance heat. And then this is your common wire. So if you need to power a thermostat, you just need to power it with, with your R and C wires. And then if you are going to turn fan on, what's going to happen inside the thermostat is your R and G are going to touch. And that's going to turn the blower motor on. If you're going to turn your, your heat on, you're going to touch right here. Your electric resistance is going to, going to turn on, which we don't have that in here. Uh, and depending on the type of thermostat, your fan may also turn on. But it's going to depend on your thermostat. And so that's your thermostat wiring right here. Now, coming... Let's see here, let's just follow this, this pathway right here. So let's go with your fan. So right here, you have your gray wire. Here's your gray wire, and it comes over to that side of the resistor, right here. Now blue is gonna be one of your 24 volt power wires to the, the blower motor to designate for the blower motor to turn on at a specified speed, depending on if you put this on one, two, three, four, or five. And that can be seen right here. So one, two, three, four, or five. Now the next thing that you're gonna have is if you were to turn your, your heat on. So right here, if you were gonna have R and W touch right here, in this case, your thermostat does not need to touch the, the, the G wire as well. So it's gonna touch right here, and you're gonna follow this right down to the cube right here. And you're going to see that the, these two white wires are actually connected. And so you're going to follow this white wire right over to the blower motor. And so this is your other uh, blower motor speed designation. So, so you have your, for your fan, if you're going to turn your air conditioning on or just your, 
your fan on, and then you have your, your heat fan speed for your electric resistance heater. So those are your two speeds right there that you can utilize. So basically that's what's going on right here. Anytime that you're calling for heat over here, you're gonna notice that we have a connection point right here and it's going to three wires. And what you're doing is you're powering relays on your electric strip heater if, if it's equipped with one. But in this case, if you were to power this for heat, you're not gonna get anything because you see where the, the wires are, are going to. The only thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna turn the fan on on its electric strip heating uh, speed, which is over here for your blower motor. So that's the only thing that's gonna happen if you have no electric strip heater, so you shouldn't even hook that up if that's the case. I also wanna show you that you have your, your common right here. This is your common wire, and you have that attached to the, the ground right here, and you have a big connection point right here with everything. So it's just a, a common connection point for everything, if you follow this over to the plug right here, this is your common on your plug, and that plug goes into the uh, the motor. But that is your 24 volt common right here. That's what that is. These two are your 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 hots, and then that's your your ground right here. So I'm going to give you a wiring diagram for for this wiring of the air handler that we just went over. And the whole point of this is some of these air handlers are now not equipped with control boards. In fact, the only control board on the entire air handler is found on the end of the motor, and it's called the motor module. And that's on these uh, multi-speed ECM blower motors. And basically, you're just designating the blower speed on the taps down here. So that's that. If you want to learn more about thermostat wiring or you want to check out some of the articles, quizzes, calculators, or the podcast, make sure you check out our website over at acservicetech.com. Now, we also have some of the other videos we've done on air handlers down in the description section below. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.